Hey guys, this is Frank uh, coming in with another audio commentary. Uh, this is going to be a match against, this is set two, a match against Stork against a player I'm not too um, sure of uh, named CHRH. Uh, not too sure, I know he's from the Rokaf team. Um, not too sure who he is though. Uh, so I'm assuming Stork, because he's Stork, will just roll right over him and Especially because, you know, it's sad to say, but he's on the Rokaf team. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, that was just for syncing purposes. But yeah, so I'm not too sure who this player is. Um, so, we have Stork in purple as the Protoss player. And we have CHRH as Zerg, I'm going to say, in the 12 o'clock position. And, yeah, that's... Oh, sorry, as Terran in the uh, 1 o'clock position. My bad. And we have Stork, of course, in the 9 o'clock position. So, um, in case you guys don't know, Stork is a little bit like uh, Yellow, NC Yellow, in that he just cannot come up with a win. He has come in second to everybody <laughs> pretty much everyone's just having their go at him and uh you know leaving him in second place last i saw was uh the jadong in i believe the um osl a uh, while back and it's just it's just sad to watch but i i still think he's a great player i still think he's going to come out with uh, at least this match because um i hate to say it but uh, i just don't even know who this guy is but anyways um i'll get to the matchup uh we have chrh <laughs> looking a bit terrifying <laughs> going for the uh, the wall in here against uh, Stork, the Protoss player uh, the wall in is actually I was discussing this with uh, my friend who's uh, just starting to play Starcraft and he says he wants to play as the Terran as uh, Terran because uh, none of our pl friends play as Terran but I was explaining to him that the wall in is uh, it's, it's a bit defensive which plays to the Terran's strengths but and it's also nice because you can hide tech, you can deny the scout, um, which actually Stork doesn't do very often, so um, apparently CHRH uh, doesn't, unless he really wants to hide something, uh, Stork tends to scout pretty late, and uh, Stork, yeah, going for the standard gateway into um, Assimilator, into Cybernetics Core. Um, but yeah, so the wall in helps you to high tech. Um, you can fast expand without them knowing about it and just float it down. And oh my goodness, you are all gonna fire me for this um, again. This is the other one. Okay, last the, my first matchup. <laughs> this is terrible. My first matchup, I said it was Athena or Othello, and this one is the other one. Whatever the first one was, this is the other one from Athena or Othello. Um, so, yeah, but the wall helps you, you know, hide your tech. You could be going for a fast push, and you can just lift your barracks and just push right out. You can pretty much do whatever you want. So it, it's a very nice uh, technique to, to start up in, but it, it also... Uh, it kind of holds you back though from doing things I guess that those couple seconds quicker that you would want to and we see Stork here blocking off his ramp because he's going for a fast DT rush which tends to actually be very effective against uh, against Terran players I, I saw a match against I believe it was C you can correct me if I'm wrong but um, it was against C in a two in a two player map and it was Bisu who just held him back in his base for the entire match and he just teched two Arbiters and he had about four Arbiters flying around the map and uh, the DTs just held him back. So anyways, we have, a, we, have a one, we have a one factory into a command center and the command center is actually in a great position because that command center can just be floated down and uh, and Stork isn't going to be able to scout this unless he can get around past the the wall in which isn't going to happen and then he's going to have to actually decide to scout down to pass that map artifact which is um, a pretty interesting thing on this map because only small units can fit past it so 
Um, but it's also nice because for the Terran player because they can just shell from uh, put some siege tanks up there and just shell from down there. I've actually seen a match um, where Nada played um, against the Zerg player. Not sure who is not coming to mind right away, but um, he just he set up a huge contain up there and he just slaughtered from up there. Um, so yeah, guys, this is my uh, second commentary again. Frank C. Yes, just throwing it up again. And uh, Proxy Engineering Bay. Interesting. <laughs> Going to hide some upgrades, and there's Jangby. Uh, so yeah, first DT coming out here. Um, this might play into Stork's favor because um, CHRH... Oh, so maybe he's hiding that there... To not let him know that he's going to have turrets or something, but anyways, I don't think the D, the D actually the DT is going to get there in time. Oh no, the turret is going up, so the D, DT is going to have to uh, put some zealot legs on and uh, just bolt over there and stop this. Excuse me, this turret from going down. Uh, wall in, very effective wall in, extremely effective, and I believe CHRH did see that. And the engineering bay is floating up, and uh, yep, it's it's scouting, but it's probably going to get taken down by the single dragoon, which might not actually, might not actually be too good because he went for the fast command center, and he's going to want to get some turrets down at the bottom of the ramp so he can hold that off. Okay, no, it looks like the engineering bay might get away, but Stork microing that dragoon. This this might actually be this proxy engineer bay if this gets taken no it will it won't get taken down unless a dragoon looks like a dragoon is actually oh no okay that's not a dragoon i, I, I was just checking the mini map that was just a z lot that was running down there i thought a dragoon might be going to intercept it uh just to pick it off um so yeah fast command center not actually doing uh too much good for chrh that dt uh not getting any kills but still scaring oh oh Oh, oh. Scaring CHRH into not uh, not a, not using that fast command center and the dete and the scanner sweep uh, helping to pick off that DT right there. So um, Stork has the fast expansion. I believe that's a cannon going up there. Uh, using his economic advantage and just a couple scouts going out, uh, I guess, checking for proxies, like a late proxy or something, or just kind of clearing the field of, of the other players' units. And another DT coming out here, um, and a third expansion coming up here, which is actually um, a bit risky, but I think it is the right move because he he's going to try to contain him with this single DT, which... CHRH uh, may very well fall victim to. Um, doesn't see that DT yet. Okay, yeah. He's, so he's just using that as I guess a scout to see when he's making can, when uh, CHRH is going to make that push. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So he's going to contain him in, until he can, so that uh, he can't make that push without him seeing it. Observers coming out now, uh, possibly for to detect some mines. Uh, yeah, so it looks like he's just, the CHRH is just bunkering down, taking that uh, economic lead. And actually, this is a strategy that I actually used as Protoss against uh, Terran, is that when I see that, that they're walling in like Terrans usually do, I try as quickly as I can to get up a third and a fourth um, expansion and just uh, not too heavy on the mineral saturation. It's a bit risky just in case they do push. Um, and they very well may based on their... Um, uh, their s like if they scan you and they see that. But they usually don't scan until a bit later on. Until they're, they're about ready to make their push. And clearly at this point in the game the Terran player isn't ready to, to make their push. So um, that yeah, that's a strategy that I like to use just to get that huge economic lead, and then I, I just macro like crazy, and then I just go to town. Uh, and it usually actually does tend to work for me, and because they're just so interested in I guess making their 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 wall in, and they're bunkering down. So 